Ooh, child, just calm down, calm down. Okay. <sighs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today is not a normal filming day for me, but I just got a little excited because the temperature is finally starting to drop and fall is one of my favorite seasons like ever. Of course, I like spring too because I hate winter, but it's just something about fall and I'm a pumpkin girl. I'm one of those basic bees. And this time of year, I just, I love it. It does something to me. I saw a video that Emily Noel did on her favorite fall eyeshadow palettes. And I thought about some stuff that I have in my collection that I wanted to share with you guys. So if you want to see what palettes I love for the fall, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so I'm just going to jump right in because I don't know why this gets me excited. Y'all know I love eyeshadows. You know I love colors. But when I think about fall colors, of course, I think about orange. I think about reds. I think about berry tones, purples. It's definitely warm tone. But then there's also like the green and the changing of the leaf colors. So when you think about stuff like that, that's what I think about for fall. Comment below and let me know what you think about whenever you think about fall colors. So I'm going to start off with some drugstore palettes and then I'm gonna get into some high-end palettes so I got something for everybody I'm gonna start by showing you a palette that is literally my ideal dream palette now unfortunately this is sold out but I just want to give you an idea of some of the shades that I'm looking for whenever I think of fall so this is the Sydney Grace chase your dreams eyeshadow palette this came out during the summer and was available during their Christmas in July sale. I picked this up, did a video, and then I didn't like it and never posted it. Um, but this is what the shadows look like. This just screams fall to me. I love purple, you know that, but I just love like the way gold looks on my eyes. I'm not a big, I have gold on today, but I'm not a big gold jewelry fan but I love how it looks on my skin tone. So this with the oranges and the gold and the purple and there is a black, this just screams like complete fall palette. So if you add a green to this, this would be it. So this will just give you an idea of what types of colors you're gonna see in the video. The first palette that I picked up in my collection is by the brand Makeup Revolution and it's their Mint Chocolate Eyeshadow Palette. This is what the palette looks like, the outside of it. And then on the inside, these are the shades. Trying to make sure I don't blind y'all. So as you can see, we've got some greens, browns, red, a little bit of yellow. But I just feel like this is like really fall inspired. And I think it's a great palette to start with because it's inexpensive. Makeup Revolution, their website always has a sale and this is on sale a lot of times at Ulta. Plus you can use the $3.50 coupon in store whenever you shop. So sign up to be a rewards member for that. The next drugstore palette I have is the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. I picked this one because I like the pops of color that it has in it this duochrome tan brown color there's also another green color that's like a deep forest green as opposed to like an emerald so i think that's what makes it fall and then also of course your golds and your transitions and your deep brown this palette's about six or seven bucks so if you're looking for a starter palette this one's a good buy Another palette that I really like, and I actually did my eyeshadow look today with this palette, is the Beautiful in Barcelona 16 Color Shadow Palette by BH Cosmetics. This is what it looks like. Now, this doesn't have green, but I just, I don't know what it was about it. Sorry. I don't know what it was about it when I saw it that just drew me in for fall. I know 
The blue, I think, would lean more towards, for me, like cold winter. But I just think because of these warmer shades here and then this orange, this is what I have on my lid, believe it or not. And I know it looks kind of orange in the palette, but it comes off as this gold that you're seeing. So gorgeous palette. This palette is $16 in Ulta. BH Cosmetics always has a sale. 350 off coupon in Ulta or wait for a sale. Right now, Ulta is having their fall haul sale. I'm not sure how long it's going on, but they do have some eyeshadow palettes on sale, some brands. So I know LA Girl is on sale for 30% off. Juvia's Place eyeshadows are on sale for 30% off. So if you're looking for a reason to shop, sale is always a good one. The next palette that I have is this Nomad palette by Juvia's Place. Now, if you follow me on Instagram at Miss Barbell Barbie or my makeup page that I just started, which is Beauty in Strength Official, but there's an underscore between all the words. So Beauty underscore in underscore strength underscore official. I posted a quick little story live, whatever you call those things. When I got this in yesterday, this Nomad palette, y'all look how gorgeous this is. Like this is my green gold fall palette. Like it's perfect. This orange pumpkin, pumpkin, gold, leaves dying and changing, getting into cooler tones, leaves changing like... This is beautiful and I think this is on sale for either 30% off or maybe even like $10. I'm not sure, but the pigment in these palettes is insane. So I also recommend this one as a good starter kit. If you're into greens and golds, this is a great palette to pick up. All right, so now we're going to move into the high-end shadow palettes that I have and... I said that this one was kind of overhyped, but at the same time, I love the colors in it. And I think it's because they're a bit darker. This is the Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette. And I didn't realize how much this screamed fall to me until I looked at it today for this video because orange, berry colors, you have your neutrals, you have your greens, like... Yeah, you have a little bit of blue kind of green here, but I mean, like this is just perfect. It's still warm. There's a little bit of cool if you need that as an accent, but if you cover up these shades right here, all the rest of these colors are literally everything I need for fall. So I'm going to have to pull this out and use it maybe in my next video. I don't know. Turn on your notifications and subscribe to my channel so you can know when I upload it. This next palette, I opened it and I was just like, you know, maybe this is why I'm so drawn to it because of the fall theme. This is the Jackie Ina Anastasia Beverly Hills collab palette. And look at this. Like it's literally purples, berries, green, gold, browns. This is fall right here. And we already know Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow quality is amazing. So this is something else that you're probably going to see in rotation a lot over the next couple months. Absolutely love this palette. One of my all time favorites. This next palette, I wasn't sure if I wanted to put in or not, but I don't know. Comment below and let me know what you think. This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. And originally I was like, no, this isn't fall. This is more spring. But then, if you take these two peach shades out, I feel like this is a very beginner-friendly, it is high-end, but beginner-friendly palette to use for the fall because you have your purples. You have a dark black purple. It has a little bit of shimmer, but it falls out. It doesn't stay, so you can use it as a matte. These browns, this kind of terracotta, orange, these golds. So I, I feel like this could be a really good fall palette. And this, when this palette came out, I got it as a birthday gift and I was absolutely in love with it. And it was supposed to be limited edition. 
And so I was like, oh, what if I run out? And so I went and bought another one and now it's permanent. So I have this one and I have a backup, but I love this palette. It was one of my favorites. I love that it still smells like peach. And I don't know, I think this is a good option too if you're not as much into the berry red purple group, but you still want the green and the gold and maybe a little bit of a more muted plum for a little bit of color. Now these next two palettes, I honestly just could not decide which one I thought was more fall appropriate, but it's also, I'm going to show both of them because it's two different price points. They're both high end and these last three palettes are the most expensive. This first one is the Natasha Denona Love Palette. Now, I look at this and I think about Valentine's Day. Of course, love, but also berries, purples. There are some gorgeous golds in here that you could use. But overall, I'm like, yeah, I could do some fall looks with this. I love warm red berry colors. So... I think this palette would be great if you're looking to invest in a Natasha Denona palette. And I do also think these colors, the lighter colors especially, would be great for spring. So it's not like you're just spending $65 on a palette to wear for one season. You can get use out of this year round. The other palette by Natasha Denona that I thought would be perfect for this is the Lila palette. This was the second Natasha Denona palette that I picked up. I picked up the Sunrise palette. Is it Sunrise or Sunset? I picked up the Sunset palette like as soon as it came out. And then this one came out and I was like, well, I have to have it because it's purple, duh. But berries, purples. There's one shade in here, this one down here, that is a multi-chrome. Let me show you what it looks like. If you see it on my finger, at one point it kind of looks like a little red, then it looks a little green. Very interesting color. So you can see the shifts in it here. So I just think that's a fun color to pop on your lid or use as an accent towards your outer V to blend with some of the other, other colors but I like that it has a slight green undertone to it. And I think that's what made me pick this palette besides the other shades. This is a gorgeous palette. Love it. If you want to splurge, I like this one. And then last but not least, I know y'all didn't think I was going to make a video of some of my favorites and not include Pat McGrath. Like really, I know you didn't think that. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go with the Mothership 5 Bronze Seduction Palette because I feel like it's just more neutrals. It still looks somewhat fallish, but if you go this route, then I'm like, well, what's the difference between this and the Natasha Denona Soft Glam or Modern Renaissance or something like that? Like this is more just, it's gorgeous, it's neutrals but I'm not quite sure it falls in the range of fall. So I ultimately ended up picking Mothership 6 Midnight Sun, which is actually one of the more recent ones I got. And I bought it, Kinky Sweat Alicia, one of the channels that I watched, she kept saying how this was one of her favorites and that it was so underrated. And I was just like, I don't wanna buy it. But then I kept looking at it and I was like, you know, I know I'm going to love this color and I love green golds like this. And then this shade here, it's a topper shade, but like, just look at how that glistens. Put that on your lid mixed in with this darker brown here and maybe even a little bit of this green. And then she also has this gold up here. Like, I mean, yes, this is definitely a fall palette and it is an expensive palette, $125. But again, if these are your shades, it doesn't matter if it's fall, winter, summer, spring, you're going to wear it. Y'all know I love color. I don't need a reason to pop on a blue 
or a gold or anything else. I do what I want. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Like I said, I was just feeling really inspired and I wanted to come and share these things with you. You know that eyeshadow palettes are my all time favorite makeup product. And when I saw Emily's video, I was just like, yes, I have to do that. So these are my top picks for my favorite fall eyeshadow palettes. And I hope it inspired you to either go dig in your collection and pull something out and create a look or go to Ulta and grab something while it's on sale. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video. And if you guys like the idea of this, please give it a thumbs up and I'll make more like it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.